yet have to finish the story about the Sveta Anna, about the Holy Anne Church. Not too far from here on a Graben, I started to talk about in part number one. When I was today with my mom, together also with the father at home for elderly people, where we came to visit the father, uh, it was my mom that started the subject and father about the church of Sveta Anna, uh, Holy Anne, located at the top of the hill here, the Graben, just like I've spoken about in part number one. And But the thing is, my mom started to ask about when, how, how did you know about this thing and this and that. You know, and if I go back to this issue, which I also mentioned in part number one, how they search for the proofs. I told her like this, I told her, uh, the church was in a much greater peace when I was at my age, till my age five, six, maximum six. That's when I entered the first grade of the grammar school. And then they did something with the church. There was still a visit that we paid, maybe even a second class grammar school, before they completely demolished that church and there were only stones that were left on the side of the road as you go here in Graber in this. This is probably age number seven. And then it was the school teachers who continued to instigate to fuck with me in respect to the church. Yes, we did go to see this remnants of the church also with the school teachers from the school, from the grammar school that was right next door to this, uh, our house in the city. You have to watch part number one. Well, the thing was, they wanted to drive me nuts. The teachers started to death threaten me, the female teachers, and they started to talk to me about uh, this church uh, pointing me out some other church in the area that this is the church and so on and I was like whatever this is very 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 important issue very 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 important issue <clears throat> so now if you go back to this map here Maybe the teachers were afraid of something. It's very, very difficult to know. Very, very difficult to know. Maybe they were afraid for me. Who knows? But this is where we used to live here. This was our house here. This is the school I was at. So, but this church, this... Uh, Holy Anne was located at... Uh, just about uh, something like this, something like this. And the thing about it is that church was gone, church was finished, they put the stones next to the road, I think I had a feeling like this, whatever was left of the church, uh, which was in a really, really bad shape. It was just, anyways, it was just walls that were there that somewhat remember, reminded that there was a church at one point in time. But the church came back. MK Ultra went on, continued to go on, and the church came back. Soon the teacher started to claim me that during MK Ultra we have visited again the church with my schoolmates, with the children from the first, second, third grade, fourth grade. They still started to demonstrate me the church. However, this was not the same church. But they insisted it was the same church. It was some other location that somewhat reminded of whatever location the teachers had found. They were determined to convince me. You remember when I talk about in a search for the proofs, they were determined to convince me that at one point in time I would go for it. It didn't stop there. Eventually I found myself in Steyrska region, at age 16, 15, 16, 17. This is another part of Slovenia, but I think it was Stajerska region. 
Hey, you can see where it says Novo Mesto. And in this case, I assume it was Leonard in Slovensky Gorica that they found something similar to that little tiny little church. And guess what happened? They started to insist me that the church was renovated. So they entered my memory based on my memory, the way it looked like the ruins of that church. And they started to rehabilitate that memory. And I'm not even sure so much if it was really father or was not. Because they might have used another individual. And they started to insist me that the church is now being refurbished, is being now rebuilt. And it's now completely new became. And if I see him, to me it appeared there was also father in MK Ultra in this Leonard Slovensky Gorica. Father did travel everywhere. Mother doubted me, dared me about how do I think how the father got there. Well, my grandfather was thrown into the Maribor home for elderly people for one thing. But we're talking about the latest stage of MK Ultra, and my father was pretty much everywhere, wherever I went. Uh, so, if I would not be sober today, if I would not have a 100% capacity to point out exactly what kind of ruins, what exactly was done when, and if I would rely on the memory, and if I would not be sober, uh, I could state all kinds of issues. I could state that these ruins here, they lasted all the way when I was like 4th, 5th grade, 6th grade at the grammar school, uh, or even something crazier, like when I was 18 years old, mistaking the church for some other church and so on and so forth. They were doing this kind of stuff. They were desperately looking for the proofs. And when it comes to my father, my father, for whom I suggested you in part number one, that he yet have to, as he told me in his own words, he repeated to me, he yet to have to decide what he's going to do to me, with me, once I enter the grammar school. It's like this. My father also was assuring me all along that he was in a great relations with the psychiatrists, that he does have a special agreement with the psychiatrist. Though, if I would do go out and start to identify what they told me to identify things, he does have a special agreement with the psychiatrists and he would have me disappear. So there was a lot of questions about why didn't you do this? Why didn't you do that? Why didn't you do that? Why didn't you do that? That's impossible in a circle of people like this to absolutely do anything. My father was just like my mom. He would take a very, very hard line and love nothing more than to fuck with my sanity. Love nothing more than to dare me to say something based on the threats which he used that he would make me disappear in the psychiatry, that he would make me go. They ongoingly have me delivered to the home for elderly people as a child already, and they had ongoingly had me delivered also to the building next to the home for elderly people, which is for the children with disabled, with disabilities, with the mental disabilities. So, with the, that probably answers you the question, if your father tells you even, if you will try to identify, look, I have agreement with the people at the psychiatry, in case you will try, then you know that the whole case was based on a police search of the proofs. They did not succeed, quite contrary, isn't it? It's called a state of the art, this video. There is no psychiatrist and there is no psychologist that would dare even to doubt about any information entered, stated in this video, in the world. <clears throat> oh, almost I have forgotten. Marine Le Pen was the last one of the three sisters I was crazy about. The older one I was not too crazy about, but the older from 
Marine Le Pen, that's why. The order from, it's just 55. Um, we're going to close this down here, like this. And uh, it's called uh, Jan Le Pen. This is the one I was crazy about. This is the one I wanted uh, for whatever the cost might be. This was the one I wanted. Uh, and so I also owe you the part on why um, I broke with uh, Jean Marine Le Pen, with the father of uh, Marine Le Pen and Jean Le Pen. Okay, so uh, Jean Marine Le Pen, the father. Uh, I broke with him because he promised me for the wife. The first one who promised me for the wife was uh, this one here. I don't know how to properly pronounce this. Jan Le Pen. He promised me her for the wife. Then she got away with it. And he promised me 100% that my wife would be, in fact, um, uh, Marine Le Pen, this is this one here, <laughs> the one who's going to prove the schizophrenia, okay, uh, that she was the wife, and when she got away with it also, and the way she got away with it was that they collectively, Le Pen family collectively acknowledged me as a mentally ill, as a mentally insane, and they did so after the British royals have done that to me. Collectively they did. Uh, they didn't do it, but it was the British royals who did it, and then they did. Then also Le Pen family did. Once they did that kind of stuff, I no longer to, wanted to ever meet these people again. So did you also know about this schizophrenia issues, the background, who are the major players, where were the major players from, how they do it, who these people are, where these people find themselves, uh, how all this stuff happened. Well, there you have it. As I stated in part number one, it's about a state-of-the-art video. Thanks for watching this video. Uh, if there won't be next time, it's because you probably are now going to the jail. Psychiatrist Peter Karp says, repeat it, repeat it, auto, auto, he repeated. There won't be next time, there won't be next time, and so on. Well, we are now at the stage that I can say that if it's not going to be next time, it's probably because you won't have access, you guys won't have access to uh, internet or TV anymore. For me, it will be next time, but, you know. Just as I promised in part number one, state of the art. None of these people dare to argue with anything I stated in the video. Nobody does.